Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Ms. Bimbo, a Nigerian trained pharmacist who is in the UK working as a healthcare assistant. So guys, I have watched lots of videos of immigrants that have come to the United Kingdom to work as healthcare assistants and then the old certificate of sponsorships that have promised them, oh, you're going to be working 37.5 hours a week, you're going to be earning 11 pounds an hour, blah, blah, blah. But to their disappointment, upon arriving in the UK, a lot of people have found out that it is actually not what it is. So as much as this is a sad news, I have a good news for you because in this video, I'll be sharing three UK companies that are willing to take people in such category, people who have come to the UK on their worker visas, but unfortunately are not working the specified hours. And as a result, they are stranded. They don't have enough money to fend for themselves and they are dependent upon arriving in the UK. So these three companies are willing to actually swap your visa. Like you can actually let go of the visa that has brought you to the UK and then they will employ you and they will give you another care worker visa. This is amazing. They did not only state that they are willing to swap your uh, sponsorship, they are also willing to give you the recommended hours of work and wages. So if this is the kind of video that you would like to watch, then stay tuned to the end of this video. Don't only do that. Don't go away. Like this video, share this video out, and don't hesitate to smash your subscribe button. First company I'm going to be talking about is called Home Instead Care. It is a domiciliary home care company and they are looking for community care assistance for sponsorship swap position i mean skilled worker visa the location is alisbury i hope i got that pronunciation correctly for you to apply for this position you should log on to https colon slash www.homeinstead.co.uk slash recruitment slash so you can simply type that in your google in your chrome or your search engine and then they said you should state that you require sponsorship while you are applying so they said are you on sponsorship with a domiciliary care agency but not getting the required hours if so we would love to hear from you as their full-time carer you will have guaranteed contracted hours so you can simply go ahead to edit your cv to match this particular role and apply for this particular role if you are in the uk and you're not satisfied with your current employer this advert expires on the 3rd of october 2023 and part of the criteria by Ominstead include that the applicant must already reside in the united kingdom you must be on a sponsored care worker visa you must have one year experience either in home care setting or care home setting or in hospital setting and also living around this location is an added advantage to you also you must have a driver's license either international or uk driver's license as well as an access to a car either a personal car a borrowed car you must really have a car for you to qualify for this job so what are you waiting for simply look at the job descriptions you can go to indeed and type in home instead you are most likely going to find this job advert there go to the job description edit your cv to make sure it includes all these things that they are written in the job description and if you are finding it difficult to tailor your cv to match this particular role you can check out the video i made on how you can tailor your cv to match a job advert in order to increase your chances of getting invitation for an interview so the second company that is willing to swap your sponsorship is called west kent group limited it is also a domiciliary care setting and also they are offering sponsorship and or switch this comes with a guaranteed minimum of 37.5 hour per week and the criteria for this job includes that you must already be in the uk you must hold the driver's license maybe international or 
the UK driver's license, you must own a car, you must be willing to work in domiciliary care setting, you must be willing to relocate to Gillingham in Kent. So they are willing to offer accommodation of which you are going to pay for the accommodation. If you have a clear DBS that is registered on the update service, is an added advantage. But if you don't have a DBS, they are willing to work out one DBS for you, and but you have to pay for it. So they said domiciliary or home care experience is an added advantage and they're going to give you free online training. They are going to pay for your mileage and travel time. And then you're going to be working with friendly colleagues. And they said that we do not charge for sponsorship. So for you to find out more inquiries on this particular job advert, you can simply call them on 080 01 182237. Or you check out their website on www.domiciliaryexpats.co.uk. So what are you waiting for? You can call them or check out their email on their website. Send them an email for inquiries. This third company does not just swap sponsorship. They are willing to offer you sponsorship if you have no sponsorship or you meet their other criteria. So the name is Orchard Careers, and they are looking for someone to fill the position of a dementia support worker. Location is Sunderland, and it's a permanent role. Their pay is £12.31 per hour, and they stated clearly that sponsorship is considered for this role. So it's not just about swapping, but they have sponsorship to give out. So to be eligible, you must currently reside in the UK and you must hold all the required qualifications and experience as a support worker. So if you do not know the online trainings to take to qualify you for the role of a support worker, I made a video on 10 online courses that are required of a support worker. Feel free to check that video out. So for you to apply for this rule, you can simply check this job advert on Indeed by, you know, searching for Orchard Careers and you are most likely going to find this advert. And then make sure you update your CV, review your CV, tailor it in order for you to match this specific job advert and then send out your CV by applying for this job role. If you have watched this video up to this point, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.